Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Books Reviewers. As so many members asked in the comments, why did you change from Minecraft first place to Books Reviewers? I thought making Minecraft videos was useless to me and making books reviews was knowledgeful to me and guys to you so that I can share my knowledge to you guys too. So, today is a video of Books Reviewers. Books Reviewers. Hi everyone. Welcome to my channel Books Reviewers. Today I am going to review a book called Wings of Fire. Wings of Fire. An autobiography APJ Abdul Kalam with Arun Tiwari. An inspirational book for our little scientists. Introduction. Avul Pakir Jainaluddin Abdul Kalam has come to personally represent to many of his countrymen the best aspects of Indian life. Born in 1931, the son of a little educated boat owner in Rameshwaram, Tamil Nadu, he had an unparalleled career as a defense scientist, culminating in the highest civilian award of India, the Bharat Ratna. About the author, Arun Tiwari, worked under Dr. APJ Abdul Kalam for over a decade in the Defense Research and Development Laboratory, DRDL, Hyderabad. He is currently Director, Cardiovascular Technology Institute, Hyderabad, where he is pursuing Dr. Kalam's vision of developing cost-effective medicines devices using indigenous defense technology. Dr. Kalam is now India's president. He was elected to India's office by a huge majority in 2002. APJ Abdul Kalam Father Pakshi Lakshmana Sastri, a close friend of APJ Abdul Kalam, father and the head priest of the Rameshwaram Temple. The thing about APJ Abdul Kalam's father and his friend is they don't care about religions and the caste. They live however they want with playing with the rules means like following the rules but they are not interested in religions that much location where apj abdul kalam lived the right side or uh, the left side of me is the street where rameshwaram temple is there and there apj abdul kalam used to see many pilgrimages and he had his his brother's friend also had a shop. So, Abdul Kalam used to sit in the shop and view so many pilgrimages. And the right side is Abdul Kalam's house. And near Abdul Kalam's house, there used to be a mosque where he used, where he and his father and his brother used to pray their offers. Mosque where APJ Abdul Kalam with his father and brother offered their prayers. APJ Abdul Kalam brother at the T square. APJ Abdul Kalam pointing at the T square where APJ Abdul Kalam used while studying engineering. So the his brother is pointing at the T square where APJ Abdul Kalam used uh, used while studying engineering. S.T.R. Manikam is a friend of APJ Abdul Kalam brother Mustafa Kamal. The last uh, this this guy is Mustafa Kamal. Mustafa Kamal had a large collection of books. This is his house from where APJ Abdul Kalam used to borrow books from. So now we under uh, understand that APJ Abdul Kalam is interested in developing his vocabulary and he is also interested in books. And this is APJ Abdul Kalam's family get together. The simple, this is the simple surroundings of Sizwat's high school, Ramanthapuram, where APJ Abdul Kalam studied the words on the plaquem. Read, let not the vain days be spent in vain. When one's gone, no gold can buy them back. So this is the place where uh, APJ Abdul Kalam had studied. And this is the twin engine rocket for SLV-3. 
yeah uh, there's uh, we need a twin engine rocket for slv3 because slv3 uh, needs too much of force to go flying to the space so this is the engine for slv3 and this is a presentation by a member of apj abdul kalam slv3 team means like after do, uh, getting a success in slv3 uh, their team came out and uh, they have given a presentation in an unusual move apj abdul kalam made each of them present their portion of the work so uh, in this apj abdul kalam made each of them present their portion of work so he didn't give uh, he didn't give his work he didn't give his success only to him he gave his credit to everyone for making this and this is called my idea of project management it's lv3 on the launch pad this gave apj abdul kalam's team many anxious moments uh, this means that um, slv3 the on the launch pad and so many times it has failed so that's why apj abdul kalam's team was too anxious will it fail will it get success or what and this is professor satish dhawan and apj abdul kalam explaining slv3 results to prime minister indira gandhi uh, this means that uh, after slv3 launch uh, they're explaining the results of the launch of slv3 to prime minister indira gandhi receiving the padma bhushan from dr neelima sanjan sanjeevi reddy then president of india first he got from dr neelima sanjeevi reddy and after that he got from president of india so he got a padma bhushan apj abdul kalam has got padma bhushan for uh, making a slv3 rocket and this is the successful launch of prithvi the surface to surface weapon system and this is uh, prithvi uh, this image and prithvi is a more effective missile and that's why uh, apj abdul kalam is called missile man of india and this is agni agni on the land pad my long cherished dream actually agni has failed too many times but Uh, actually to make uh, agni was apj abdul kalam stream but at last it uh, got it went to several failures and last it came to a success and this was apj abdul kalam stream he didn't dream just to make he hard worked and he made the dream dream come true and this is being carried by a jubilant crowd after successful launch of agni so after successful launch of agni uh, the crowd was carrying uh, apj abdul kalam to cheer him and for his success uh, and this is receiving the bharat ratna from president k r narayan so apj abdul kalam after developing prithvi agni he got this award a bharat ratna from president k r narayan even kr narayana is a great leader and if you guys uh, have read any books of kr narayan then just comment down below and even i'll make a video on the book review of kr narayan thank you guys for watching my video books reviewers let's meet you guys in the next video and don't forget to subscribe share and like until then bye bye